It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 90th weekly math challenge, only 10 away from 100. Before I show you the problem, as always, I'd like to go over a few points. There will be one question posted every Wednesday US time. I highly encourage you to comment your answer along with an explanation below, keeping in mind that only unedited non-reply comments will be accepted. Up to the first 10 people to post a correct solution to the problem will be recognized in the next video like this. Congratulations Gabriel N for being the very first person to correctly answer the last week's challenge. Let's recognize 5 more winners for this week. Congratulations Jin C. Fung, Adam Depp, Rishab Gupta. Congratulations Enda Beta 43 and last but certainly not least Vampianist 3. A huge shout out to every single one. Now let's get to this week's challenge. Carson the car manufacturer owns 4 perfect cars, 0 partially defective cars and 3 fully defective cars, all of which look exactly the same. Each car is labeled with a unique number between 1 and 7 inclusive. His friend Carlos has ordered 2 cars, none of which can be fully defective. Carlos does not prefer a perfect car over a partially defective one, however. Those three types of cars in Carson's world are perfect, partly defective, and fully defective. It is impossible to differentiate one type of car from another by their physical appearance. Not knowing the identities of any car, because Carson is a responsible seller, Carson decides to crash test some of his cars. A crash test involves exactly two cars, which may or may not change their types based on the following rules. First, if a perfect car and a fully defective car crash into each other, the fully defective car breaks into millions of pieces while the perfect car stays perfect. If two perfect cars crash into each other, both cars become partly defective. And finally, all other types of crashes result in no changes in the types of the cars involved. Knowing this, what is the minimum number of crash tests needed for Carson to find two non-fully defective cars?